tell us, uh, what are you doing and why are you here? I've been doing this for four, however long this has been going on, and um, I'm always a helper, not a main person, so But that's okay, that's you got into the spirit of it with your green dress and your green hair. I always, this is my real hair. Real. I, I always look like this. It's, well, I, it's not, this is not a costume. So you have to wait every year for St. Patrick's Day to roll around before you can come out. Well, everyone thinks I look a little weird the rest of the year, but... That's, that's, okay. Okay. that's okay. Thank you so much for right. making this festive. Woo. If only this were green. <laughs> well, I came down here to support uh, Jill and her gang and Marilyn Marchetti there. And so uh, I brought my uh, Irish sweater and uh, my green shirt. You can't quite see that, but... Yeah, that's super! Uh, I'm just trying to do my bit. It's what you're doing here, why you're here, and what's it all about? Well, it's our seventh annual St. Patrick's Day event. Uh, it's celebrating the Irish who came to um, the United States in 1840s after famine, and this is... everything's green for the Irish. And so what we have is we, you can paint a rock, everything's free. The magical green rock was put out at night all along the streets of Bay, all up and down the first five blocks of Big Basin Way. And uh, the children look for their green rocks and if they find five, then they get a golden dollar. And has anybody found five yet? Uh, all, all 150 rocks have been found already. The children found them very fast. And but there are still pennies on the sidewalks. You can still find pennies on the sidewalks. Um, we're just selling Girl Scout cookies here today uh, for St. Patrick's Day, and we have Lucky Charms out for free with a little chocolate in each we one. We also have bracelets. Bracelets, I see. From my husband's side. He's part Irish. Yeah. So yay for the Irish. Yay for the Irish. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much that really has gotten into St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And, <laughs> yes, you have. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your little darling little girls and your husband, and what does St. Patrick's Day mean to you? Gosh, just a fun day to come out and celebrate wearing green. <laughs> With your green shirt and your green jacket, and what else is Irish about you? Well, family history. Uh, Migrated from Ireland at some point and settled in the American Southwest. Um, Do you have a name like Tipperary or something? No. <laughs> My last name is Cavanus. Yeah. It was changed from Cavanaugh uh -huh. because I think there was an Irish uh, backlash at, at one point uh -huh. and it gave it uh, a little less of an Irish uh, background name, sounding name, you know, because uh, I guess from the Great Potato Famine in Ireland. A lot of people migrated here and had a tough time finding work. Looks like a lot of fun to me oh, and so talent much. too. So much fun. Well, my name's Sharon and I live in San Jose, but I've been coming out here to this festival for, oh, oh several years now. Um, and I just love seeing all the kids and watching them kind of grow up in front of me. And uh, it's always delightful to come hang out with this group. And where did you learn the technique of balloon sculpturing? Is that what you call it? Um, or, or you can call it origami, just like origami, but with air. Uh, I learned in high school. Uh, went to school out in San Jose at Leland High School uh, many, 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 many years ago and learned from a library book.